Why do we need oxygen? We need oxygen to give us our energy, the energy from the food that we eat. So I'm going to demonstrate this now. I have some food, some hobnobs. Okay, so let's take a hobnob out. And I'm going to put it into some liquid oxygen. Okay, so here's some, some oxygen. Now remember, the oxygen itself doesn't burn at all, but it enables things to burn in it. So adding some oxygen to my biscuit, make sure it's nice and soaked with oxygen. Get my biscuit out if I can. This is the tricky bit. There we are. That's the biscuit out. Add a little bit more oxygen just to be on the safe side. <laughs> Got to be safe. Yes. Right, and then apply a light, and you may be able to detect the energy coming out of this. Okay, now watch carefully. Okay, so I hope you noticed there the energy being released from the hobnob as it combined with the oxygen. Let's just get rid of that. Um, let's try some other food. Uh, have here some Rice Krispies. <laughs> now on the side of the packet here, it says that 100 grams of Rice Krispies um, provides, it says energy, 1,600 kilojoules of energy. So that's an awful lot of energy in 100 grams of Rice Krispies or 380 calories. Well, let's, let's see if we can release that energy then by combining the Rice Krispies here with some oxygen. Okay, so there's the Rice Krispies. Add some liquid oxygen. There we are. And now we'll apply a light Very good. So you can see all the energy being released there from the food. And this is very, very important. This is what gives us our energy. Okay? We eat our food and it's, uh, well, not quite so vigorous as that. It's a more controlled reaction. But nonetheless, it's the same sort of thing. This is how we get our energy from our food, the reaction with the oxygen. Now, the Rice Krispies and the, and the uh, biscuits that we saw there contain a lot of carbohydrates and they contain fats. Well, these contain carbon combined with hydrogen and oxygen, and it's these that are reacting with the oxygen uh, that we added there. And the carbon forms carbon dioxide, the hydrogen forms, well, hydrogen oxide or water. Well, we're going to look at this now. We're going to look at the properties of these um, other gases. Now, we can see the same sort of reaction. This is converting our food with oxygen um, into carbon dioxide and I need a helper and I need an adult helper I'm afraid and we have one just at the back there who's specially trained for this experiment so Chris if you can come forward please now Chris is going